Blues Clues and You. World Cooking. Tap play to start. Play. Hello, hello. Are you ready for some world cooking? I am Mr. Salt. And I am Mrs. Pepper. And today we are doing some delicious world cooking for Blue. And you. We are making tasty treats from all over the world. Will you help us make something extra special for Blue? Magnifique! You can be our kitchen helper. Which fantastic food should we make for Blue? Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Apple pie! Apple pie! Apple pie is a very popular and delicious dessert in the USA. Home of the Statue of Liberty. Tap the green arrow to help us cook this dish for Blue and you. Tap the home button to go back and pick something else to cook. Apple pie is a tasty pastry filled with fresh apples, often cooked in a delicious mixture of butter and spices. First, let's drag some butter to the saucepan. The butter is starting to melt. Use this spoon to stir the butter. Well done, kitchen helper! The butter is perfectly melted. Now we add water to the saucepan. Water! Ah, now let's add some spices and a dash of brown sugar. Sprinkle them into the saucepan. Spices. Brown sugar. Nicely done, kitchen helper. Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, this mix will be perfect for our pie. We'll leave it right here for later, huh? Now let's make a very important part of the pie. The crust. Will you help tap all around the dough to flatten it into the pie dish? Great! Flatten the dough just like this. Aha! Très bon! Very good! Just a few more presses and we'll have the perfect crust. Now it's time to add delicious apple slices. Spread out the apples evenly in the crust. Fantastic! You are doing great! Okay, almost done. Just a few apples left. Now you're cooking? Great job! Super! Now we can add the filling mixture we made before. Now it's time to add a beautiful lattice crust on top. A lattice is a pattern that is used often to decorate the top of a pie. It makes the pie look almost as good as it tastes. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon! Keep slicing! Ah, beautiful! Now, Drag the slices of dough to the pie to create the lattice pattern. Good work, kitchen helper! Blue is going to love this delicious looking apple pie. 
Just a few more strips to go. And now we are ready to bake. Mrs. Pepper and I preheated the oven. Watch out! The oven can be very hot. So a grown-up should always do this part. Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is apple pie from the USA. In the USA, people love to eat apple pie, especially on Thanksgiving. Blue loves it! We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you. Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Biryani. Biryani. Biryani is a delicious dish from India, home of the magnificent Taj Mahal. Biryani is a mixed rice dish. It is made with spices, rice, and meat or vegetables. Can you help us add water, spices, and rice into the pan? Drag the ingredients over to the pan. Water, spices, rice. Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Well done, kitchen helper. Now use the strainer to strain out the extra water. Tap to give it a little shake. That's perfect! We'll leave this right here and add it to our biryani later. Next, let's sauté some lovely vegetables for our biryani. Let's start with some fresh onions and spices. Sauté means to cook something in oil in a pan. Onions! A scrumptious treat for Blue and you to eat. Biryani has yogurt in it. Drag the yogurt to the pan. Yogurt. Mmm, smells delicious. Next, let's mix in carrots, potatoes and peas, kitchen helper. Drag the ingredients over to the pan. Peas. Potatoes. Carrots. Ah, so colorful and spicy! We're ready to add the rice mix we made before. This is looking delicious! Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, smells fantastic already! Now, will you add the lid to the pot to let it steam? I think it's ready! Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is biryani from India. Biryani can be eaten for lunch or dinner. Blue loves it! We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Babimbap! Babimbap!
Bibimbap is a scrumptious food from South Korea in Asia, home to a royal palace called Gyeongbokgung. <laughs> Sounds pretty royal to me. Bibimbap is a rice dish with lots of different toppings, like sprouts, meat, and egg. First, let's drag meat to the frying pan. Meat. Ah, now let's add sauce and spices. Mmm, smells delicious. Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Well done, kitchen helper! Now, let's fry an egg. Drag the egg into the pan. Ah, perfect! We'll add this to our bibimbap later. Mr. Salt and I cooked some rice and added it to the bowl for you. Next, let's drag the meat we cooked, sprouts, carrots, mushrooms, and spinach all around the bowl to make the bibimbap. Carrots, mushrooms, spinach, meat. Magnifique! Thank you, kitchen helper. Now let's drag the fried egg right into the middle of the bowl. It makes an excellent decoration. <laughs> A scrumptious treat for Blue and you to eat. Here you go, Blue. Your world food today is bibimbap from South Korea. The best way to eat bibimbap is to mix all the ingredients together before you eat it. Blue loves it. We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you. Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Zhao Long Bao. Zhao Long Bao. Zhao Long Bao is the name for soup dumplings in China, home of the Great Wall of China. <gasps> wow! That really is a Great Wall! Soup dumplings are a yummy, chewy pastry with meat and hot soup inside. First, let's make the filling. Will you help us mix pork, seasoning, and soup cubes? Okay! Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Soup cubes. Spices. Pork. Now, use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, this mix will be delicious in our dumplings. We'll leave it right here for later. Now let's use this rolling pin to flatten this dough so it's perfectly round. Magnifique! Now it's time to pour the filling we made into the dough. Now, will you help us pull and pinch all around the dough to seal the dumpling shut? Swipe all around the dough to seal the dumpling shut. Ah, perfect pulling and pinching, kitchen helper! 
Keep going. Mmm, a superb dumpling. Mrs. Pepper and I made some too. Place yours in the steamer with the dumplings we made. Mrs. Pepper and I will turn on the steam to cook the dumplings. The steamer can be really hot. Always get a grown-up's help when putting things into the steamer. Okay! Next, let's drag more steamers full of delicious dumplings to the stack. Ah! Sensationally stacked! Keep stacking! Let's take a look! Ah! Beautifully steamed dumplings! Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is Zhao Longbao from China. Be careful! Soup dumplings are always really hot. Make sure to blow on them before you eat them. Blue loves them! We couldn't have done it without you, Kitchen Helper! Très magnifique! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Gnocchi! Gnocchi! Gnocchi are a tasty type of pasta from Italy, home of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Gnocchi are a very tasty pasta made with potato. The first step in making gnocchi is to mash some potatoes. Tap the mashing tool to mash these potatoes. Marvelous potato mashing! Keep it up! Voila! Can you help us mix flour, spices and eggs in with the potato? Flour Spices Egg Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, look scrumptious! Will you help knead the dough? Kneading is when you mix all of the ingredients of the dough together by hand. Okay, tap on the dough to knead it. Keep kneading the dough. Now it's time for us to swipe the dough from top to bottom and roll it into a long thin piece. Now, let's slice the dough into tiny pieces. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon! Keep slicing! Now, drag each piece of dough to the gnocchi board and tap on it. Now drag the gnocchi to the bowl. Now you're cooking? Great job! Magnifique! Keep going! Great job! Now Mr. Salt and I will turn on the heat to boil the gnocchi. Ah, such beautiful gnocchi! Now pour them into the pot. When cooking, be careful not to touch the pan. It's very, very hot. Good work, kitchen helper! Now, the final step is to add a delicious sauce. Which one should we use, kitchen helper? Pesto, pomodoro or bolognese?
choose the sauce you want and pour it on to the gnocchi. Bolognese has yummy meat in it. Pomodoro is made from red tomatoes. Pesto is made from green basil. Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is gnocchi from Italy. Gnocchi are great to eat at lunchtime or dinner time. Yummy! Blue loves it! We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper. Thank you! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Mendozi! Mendozi! Mandazi is a yummy treat from Kenya, in Africa, where you can find Lake Nakuru, where many wild animals gather. Mandazi is fried dough that is usually made in a triangular shape. First, can you help us mix in flour, sugar, spices, and coconut milk? Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Flour, sugar, spices, coconut milk. Now, use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, look scrumptious! Now, let's tap here to make a space in the center for an egg. And now, will you drop an egg right in the center? Give it a try! Egg! What a fantastic kitchen helper you are! Magnifique! Now, use this spoon to stir it all together. Next, will you help knead the mandazi dough we just made? Kneading is when you mix all of the ingredients of the dough together by hand. Tap on the dough to knead it. Keep kneading the dough. Now let's use this rolling pin to flatten this dough so it's perfectly round. Now, can you help slice the dough into triangles? You will! Great! Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon! Keep slicing! Next, let's fry them in the frying pan. Good work, kitchen helper! Mmm, smells delicious! They look ready! Mrs. Pepper and I will take them out of the frying pan! Let's sprinkle a touch of powdered sugar over our mandazi. Drag the sugar over to the mandazi. Fantastic! You are doing great! Ah, what a sweet looking treat! Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is mandazi from Kenya. In Kenya, any time of day is a good time for mandazi. They can be eaten for breakfast, a snack, or an after-dinner dessert. Sometimes they eat it with chai, a fancy tea like Blue has here. 
Blue loves them. We couldn't have done it without you, Kitchen Helper. Très magnifique. Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Tamales. Tamales are a yummy dish from Mexico, where you can find El Castillo. Do you know what El Castillo means in Spanish? The castle. A tamale is a dish made from corn dough wrapped in corn husk. All that corn sure makes it tasty. Can you help us add corn masa flour and a little bit of baking soda into the mixing bowl? Baking soda. Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Thank you, kitchen helper. Now let's add this chicken broth. Chicken broth. Now stir it all together to make the dough for the tamale. Perfectly light and doughy. We'll add this in later. Now time to saute some chicken, onions and spices. Saute means to cook something in oil in a pan. Chicken, onions, Spices! Mmm! Smells delicious! Next, let's add some lovely carrots and peppers, kitchen helper! Carrots! Peppers! Now, use this spoon to stir it all together! We are ready to add everything to the corn husk! First, drag the tamale dough we made before into the corn husk. Tamale dough. Next, let's drag the beautifully sauteed chicken and vegetables into the corn husk. Well done! Now let's wrap up the tamale. First, drag the top of the corn husk down to fold it this way. Thanks, kitchen helper. Now drag the bottom of the corn husk up to fold it this way. Great job! Now fold this way. Ah, almost ready! Let's drag the tamale to the steamer to make it warm and delicious. The steamer can be really hot. Always get a grown-up's help when putting things into the steamer. I think it's ready! Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is a terrific tamale from Mexico! You can eat the tamale right out of the corn husk! How delicious! Blue loves it! We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper! Thank you! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Which fantastic food should we make for Blue? Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Arepas! Arepas! Arepas are a yummy food from Colombia, home of El Peñón de Guatapé, a very tall rock that you can climb. Tap the green arrow to help us cook this dish for Blue and you. Tap the home button to go back and pick something else to cook.
An arepa is a cornmeal flatbread that can be filled or topped with meat and cheese. Can you help us add cornmeal, spices, oil and warm water into the mixing bowl? Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Spices Cornmeal Warm water Oil Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, look scrumptious! Will you help knead the dough? Kneading is when you mix all of the ingredients of the dough together by hand. Okay, tap on the dough to knead it. Keep kneading the dough. Now, time to slice the arepa dough into even pieces. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Très bon! Keep slicing! Now, will you help shape the arepa dough into a circle? You will! Great! Now, let's fry this arepa in the frying pan. This is looking delicious. Mmm, smells delicious. Ready to flip. Mr. Salt and I will use the spatula to turn it over. Once the arepa cools down, we can add the cheese filling. I think it's cool enough now. First, we need to slice the arepa in half. Trace the dotted line to slice the dough. Well done! Now pour the cheese inside the arepa. Cheese! Ah, now let's drag it back to the frying pan to melt the cheese so it's gooey and delicious. It looks ready! Mr. Salt and I will take it out of the frying pan. Here you go, Blue! Your world food today is yummy arepas from Colombia. Arepas are not just found in Colombia, but all over the world. Because they are so delicious! Blue loves them! We couldn't have done it without you, Kitchen Helper! Très magnifique! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello is a delightful dessert from the Philippines, home of the beautiful Boracay Beach. Halo Halo is a sweet treat made with beans, fruit and ube ice cream. This first step is really cool and fun, making the purple ice cream. Can you help us add milk, ube jam and vanilla into the mixing bowl? Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Ube jam. Vanilla. Now use this spoon to stir it all together. Well done, kitchen helper. Now drag this whipped cream to the mixing bowl. Whipped cream. Now use this spatula to mix in the whipped cream to lighten up the color. A 
a perfect shade of purple. Mr. Salt and I are going to put this ice cream mix in the freezer until it's ice cold. Next, let's add sweet red and white beans and coconut gel. Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Sweet red beans. Sweet white beans. Coconut gel. Next, let's add some jackfruit and pretty green gelatin and red gelatin to our halo halo. Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Jackfruit. Red gelatin. Green gelatin. Ah, magnifique! Now let's drizzle a little evaporated milk on top of our halo halo by dragging it over to the bowl. Now you're cooking? Great job! And now the purple ice cream we made earlier is ready. Let's drag and drop a beautiful scoop right on top of our halo halo. Ah, what a magnificent frozen treat! Here you go, Blue! Today's world food for you is Halo Halo from the Philippines. Halo Halo uses purple ice cream, which gets its purple color from ube, a purple yam. Blue loves it! We couldn't have done it without you, kitchen helper! Thank you! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. Pick a yummy world food for us to make for Blue and you. Macarons! A macaron is a sweet treat from France, home of the Eiffel Tower and home of Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. <laughs> France is the country we come from. A macaron is two cookies put together with a sweet filling. First, let's make the meringue. Can you help us mix powdered sugar, almond flour, egg whites, and syrup? Okay! Drag each ingredient to the bowl. Now, use this spoon to stir it all together. Ah, looks sweet and delicious! Now let's add a beautiful color for the bottom half of our macaron. Pick one of the icing colors and pour it into the mix. This is looking delicious! When you've picked an icing color that you like, stir it in. This part is really fun! Let's use this stencil tool to make perfectly round cookies. Can you fill each circle with icing? Like this. And now we are ready to bake! Mrs. Pepper and I preheated the oven. Watch out! The oven can be very hot, so a grown-up should always do this part. Ah, look how lovely! Okay, let's add some creamy filling. Hmm, which filling color should we use? To fill the cookies with icing, drag the piping bag over each cookie. Now, the final step. 
Drag the top part of the cookie onto the macaron, like this. Remember, a macaron is two cookies put together with a sweet filling. Here you go, Blue! Your world food for today is macarons from France. Macarons are a very popular treat in France, where Mr. Salt and I are from. Blue loves them! We couldn't have done it without you, Kitchen Helper! Très magnifique! Blue loved this world food so much, I think she might want to make something else. Tap play again to make a new dish from another part of the world. <laughs>